little demonstration on how bad these brakes are. That's full brake. Not stopping. And stop. Now let's go fix them. Welcome back to the channel guys as you uh, probably seen in the uh, the video intro and the thumbnail we're gonna go over uh, a pretty typical brake issue um, when using these band style brakes on these mini bikes and go-karts and that is uh, making sure you install them correctly uh, this particular vehicle this mini bike a buddy of mine's been working on it carb clean motor mount stuff like that I want to test drive it and once stopped didn't even notice it um, until I took it off for a spin and it won't stop I guess it's fairly common I've seen it happen quite a few times um, with these installs but what I'm going to go over is kind of try to explain to you what exactly has happened here so as you can see you got the band right there and it's pivoted mounted at the top there and there's a little drum inside of it and down below there's a uh the cable goes through and a cable stop and it pulls on the, the uh, actual band and clamps it around the drum. The problem happens is when you put this on backwards so you always want the cable pulling up the same direction that the wheels rotating. What happens if you don't do that is as the wheels going like this and you go to pull the brake here, the band's gonna grab the drum and rotate this way and literally pull itself off the drum. So at this point, you end up with two little contact points right here and right here on the drum, um, which isn't sufficient to stop it. Um, if you were to go the other way and pull the same brake, you can see it instantly stops the wheel. I go this way, I can actually pull it against the wheel. This way I cannot. So what we need to do is flip this around so this is mounted up here and it's pulling it this way um, so let's uh, just undo this quick like and flip that around and we'll go do another demo and show you how they work Bands off. Let's flip it around. All right, it's flipped around. Now let's just get the uh, um, the cable lock on there. Get it all back up again.
Okay, there we go. All right, there we go. It's flipped around now. Um, now when the tire is rotating this way, the band grabs, it tries to pull itself tighter, thus kind of giving you a power assist, and now the thing will have brakes. Let's go test it out. All right, brake test. After we put the fix in, let's see how she works. And brakes. Oh yeah, actually locks the wheels up, tires up now. Much better. Well, as you've seen in the video, it does stop. It just doesn't stop as well as I want it to do. So I want it to. Um, so that kind of works, but I'm going to show you what I do with these things. Um, and there's going to be haters out there, but I always put my brake bands. If I'm using brake bands and drum style brake. I put the band on the centrifugal clutch. Now the only con to this type of method is heat. So obviously the clutch generates a lot of heat, the brake band causes a lot of heat, and it could cause some slippage. But you gotta remember we're not running, you know, uh, you know, laps on the Nurburgring or uh, MotoGP stuff or putzing around neighborhoods. So I've never really had a problem with it. I've always liked putting them there. Just a more positive brake. Because you gain the, ref you actually gain the, the leverage of the sprocket. So it turns this sprocket, this brake drum, into the diameter of that sprocket when you're braking. So it does put a lot of leverage, a lot more leverage in the tire and stops you much better. Uh, another pro is your brake cable is much shorter. So now you're here, definitely down to right here. So less cable stretchage, stretching, um, and it cleans everything up. You know, we mount, mount the band here, it gets covered up by the cover, chain cover, cover. And then we can eliminate a bunch of the noise back here, which is getting a little crowded back on these little tiny, tiny wheels. So, so that's what we're gonna do. Um, we're gonna start by building us a bracket that'll uh, attach our band. We'll build a bracket that'll be bolted right here. It'll stud out. The band will be. Um, we'll be able to put the band on there, and then simply put the cable on there, and it's already done. So, um, let's get to building that little bracket. Yeah miserable state anyways um, so we're kind of mocking up where this uh, brake band is going to go on the on the clutch um, and just as what we had talked about before about the getting to make sure you got the, the pulling on the right direction we want to always pull the cable the same direction as the drum is rotating in this case it's going this way going forward you'll pull it that way and tighten it that makes this our mount point so what we're gonna do is just fab up some sort of a plate. I'm thinking that these two bolts here will be our mounting points. We'll just have to change the bolts. Um, and then kind of weld this nut on here on a little piece of scrap. We'll cut something out and go back there. Weld that on, hook the cable on, and literally that's it, it's done. A uh, little spacer here to keep the band aligned on the clutch, and we're done. So uh, let's go ahead and get this uh, piece of steel cut up here and uh, make ourselves a mount for this uh, clutch band. It'll make this thing stop like it should. All right, so let's take some measurements here. Get the, uh, the distance between our two bolt holes figured out, roughly, or exactly. 85 a little over 85 millimeters um so we'll go uh let's put some holes i'm thinking i'm gonna put some slots we'll cut since we got a mill we'll cut some slots in here quarter 20 or quarter inch slots um so we can have a little bit of adjustment on this bracket to ensure that the um that the uh band isn't rubbing against the clutch at any given moment i did make some space little spacers there that'll go uh in that little to fill in that little space between the bracket and the back of the or the uh, side cover for the engine um, so let's go throw us on the mill and uh, cut some uh, holes and slots in it all right got our 85 millimeter spacing here let's do some lines 
figure out we're thinking go right about there so like so then we're gonna want to make this pretty little duplicate angle on the other side Some character to it so we'll kind of go like this make it kind of look like something I guess um, figure out where let's go look at the bike real quick and make sure there's nothing that's in our way for distance so yeah if we go about dead center of that bar that will give us uh, plenty of room to work with so let's do that and put the holes right in the middle ish somewhere in here we'll let the mill decide where center is um, in the meantime let's just uh, cut this out decide which way to mount it but there's a little character will round the edges off nice and pretty like um, so let's clean this up, move this into the mill, and we'll cut some slots here, quarter inch slots here for uh, bolts to slide in. Like I said, give us a little bit of adjustment so we can ensure that the, uh, the uh, band is centered directly over the top of the, uh, the drum. Let's go to the mill. And there's how you improperly cut a notch slot, but it's done. Let's go put it on the bike. Okay, so brackets belt, a uh, little spacer. You can see how it's going to be bolted in there, like so. And now we just need to figure out where to drill this particular hole. So this will be a through hole on the steel bracket. I'll take the head off this bolt here, whichever bolt I use. And... Uh, pass all the way through and then uh, plug weld it on the back side and then surface weld it out here. So let's go ahead and mark this up and uh, start drilling another drill in our hole. All right, so uh, precision machinist trick. You wanna find out where to put a hole in something, roughly where you wanna put it. A little bit of white paint. Boom. So now we'll drill a hole there and then weld this on 
to there and we are literally done. Let that cool down, cut a little spacer, and bolt this thing up. Hey, there you go. It's done. We'll uh, get the cable threaded through here, and then we'll go uh, take it for a test spin. Well, I'll probably put a little bit of paint on this just so it doesn't rust instantly. Okay, there's our final uh, piece. Pull the little breaky army thingy and stuffy movesy movesy. <clears throat> so, all that good. We'll throw the uh, cover on it, and we'll take it out for a spin and see how she works. Okay, uh, footnote, don't run these things without the chain cover and clutch covers on. Um, we did that purely for the option of testing. Um, as you've seen, it stops awesome now. Um, half the, the brake lever pressure required to stop it um, and locks the tire up, so we'll call that good. So there you go, that's how I set up a band style braking system on these little mini bikes and go-karts. Um, you can use the clutch bell. Um, like I said, the only downfall is the fact it generates heat, but I haven't had an issue with it ever, so I'm going to continue doing it that way. Um, so that'll close out this video. Thanks for watching. See you soon.